If you guess the exact same thing that Link has worn since the very beginning of The Legend of Zelda, you were right! That's right. The original reason why Link was wearing this because it was a knight's uniform. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. You're damn right he was. Take care on your journey. And be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for tr the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if you can glean more useful information from... I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over you and guide you both. Solemn nod. Alright, we're going... We're running out of time, but before... I cut this video, I want to show you the bazaar now that it is finally open. And since we have all these rupees... Oh, wait. Looks like Fletch has something for us. You're a meshy! Yes, Fledge. That green uniform looks so adventurous! You sure look like a knight now! I'm still mad at you for not telling me about our bird, jerk. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. What did you do, Fledge? The adventures pouch! Well, I guess we can kind of forgive him now. This is a very important item in all. You know what? Water under the bridge, Fledge, old friend. With the Adventurer's Pouch, we have these four starter pouches. We can put four different items that aren't tools in there, such as... We'll get into these later, of course, but metals, bottles, and... You know, that's pretty much it. Metals and bottles. It's an Adventurer Pouch. It's for adventures. No! Get out of town, Fledge. Oh my god, I would have never guessed. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield and fit it in the pouch. They might come in handy on your adventure. Oh, that's the other thing you can fit in the pouch. A shield. Now, you can actually, if you wanted to, fit multiple shields in your pouch. But, honestly, one is good enough. You're a messy. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Well, Fledge, you have confidence in us that I don't think we'll ever die or lose or get in any pain. Screw you, Colin. A.K.A. Yokobo. But let's go to that bazaar. We obviously have enough rupees now to buy whatever the heck we want. So let's give you a good old tour of the bazaar. Before we end this video. Running with, uh, looks like Alan has something to say. I heard the news, Yurameshi. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? The headmaster told me there's a land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You just saved us some rupees. Thank you. We got a wooden shield, the weakest shield in the game. Although, hey, it's better than nothing. It breaks easily, and of course, since it's made of wood, if you get hit with fire and have this shield, it's going to go up like, well, wood. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all shields. Also, keep in mind that it is particularly vulnerable to fire. Thank you for telling them again what I just said. If it... Okay, and that is information that you could probably guess on your own. You can buy a new shield at the bazaar at any time. To equip it, just go into your pouch and then point at it with the Wii Remote. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. 
I don't need him, I can just tell you. As he said, to go into your pouch, press the minus button. And now we have our wooden shield out. Now, to get your shield out, just throw forward the nunchuck, and then your shield will come out. If you want to do a shield bash, swing the nunchuck forward again, and it'll do a shield bash. Why shield bashes are useful, not because they do damage, but if they s someone swings a weapon at you and you use the shield bash, they'll reel back and be vulnerable for a moment in time. It's also useful for deflecting certain attacks, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. A column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in a cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword. See! I have a shield on my back! And she's telling us we should buy a shield and potions at the bazaar. Another subject to discuss, Master. Once you are accustomed to the controls, you are free to modif- Okay, and she's telling us we can modify the controls at any time if you want to. Just go to the gear screen, and do the interface. I'm going to keep the controls the way they are right now, though. I, I don't see any need to change them. Butterflies! Moving on. Right, it's time for our good old tour of the bazaar. Something I've been promising you since I started this. Well, the closest shop to our right isn't really a shop. It's just where there's people. They're eating, drinking. There's a woman cooking there. This old man right here will give you information on a side quest later, but we'll get to him later. Now, to your right. This is Gordon's Scrap Shop. If you see, a unique feature in this game is you can upgrade the tools you get in the game as well as the shield you have with the treasure that you have gotten. Right now, since we don't have anything other than a monster claw and uh, some monster claws and a jelly blob, I would not advise coming here yet. Another fun feature of this shop is that you can repair your shield when it gets damaged. Because, as you can see from the bar next to our shield, it can take damage. If you don't do a block, a shield uh, bash in the right way, or if you have it out and it takes a lot of hits, it will take damage. Over to the left, I am not going near him, but this is Sparrow, the fortune teller. If you ever get stuck for 10 rupees, he will tell you what to do, but you can just go to the Gossip Stone and get the same information, so why bother? He also tells you where treasure is, but again, in this Let's Play, whenever we get treasure, I'll tell you other areas you can get it. So, no real need to go to him ever, aside from the one side quest that he has for you. And this shop, this is the Beatrice's item checks. Now, as you can probably guess, since we only have four pouches, this will eventually get filled. And you'll get more items throughout the game. So, what the item check is for, you can put any of your items in the item check. And she'll store them for you. If your pouch is full and you get another item that would go into a pouch, it just automatically goes to the item check. She has a side quest that I am going to start now. What you need to do is constantly talk to her. That's why she doesn't have the bubble over to her head. You just need to give her a lot of business. So, we'll start that now. Hello, and welcome to the item check. Want to put some stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch or in storage that you want to move? Yes. Alright, let's see it. She's very bored because aside from us right now, she does not get much business. All I'm going to do right now is move my shield into the item check and then move it back. So I really didn't accomplish anything, but it started the side quest rolling. To get to her side quest, you're going to want to talk to her a lot. Because if you don't do that, the best you can do is just come here back and forth, back and forth, until the quest happens at the end of the game. But it would be better to just talk to her now and like in the middle of the game you'll get to the end. This is Rupin's... Rupin? Oh, I'm... Yeah, Rupin. This is Rupin's Gear Shop. As his name suggests, you can buy gear here. He sells bombs, arrows, Deku nuts for a uh, slingshot, and the various shields. He'll get more merchandise later. And what I like about Rupin, look at him. Doesn't he look like a monkey? Look at him, all happy. He does not have a side quest. 
he is one of the only shop owners in this entire bazaar that does not have a side quest accompanied with him. I'll also mention all of these people have houses in Skyloft, and they do business at night as well. They don't. You can't buy anything from them, but you can sell your items that you don't want. And this is Birdie and Love's potion shop. The woman who's shouting and calling people with the bubble over her head is Love. And over there, that is her husband, Birdie, who owns the shop, and his baby boy on his back, who does not have a name. He's known as Birdie's son. That is it. Well, actually, not even Birdie's son. It's just Birdie's baby. If you want, you can come up with a name with him, too, as well as the loft wing, but... We'll just call him Birdie's son for now. But let's talk to this woman since she has the bubble over her head. Hey, you there. Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill your up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm? Let me tell you. One look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. Excuse me. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Obviously, you can't get a potion unless you have an empty bottle. But, since this is such a nice lady, love... Oh dear, I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle. I already told you that. For some reason, I like you, though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here for the, uh, in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. Just my little gift. You won't hear me say this often... But you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. It's a very useful thing to carry around, and she's right. Other things you can put in bottles aside from potions. Fairies. Spores from giant mushrooms that you'll find later. And that's about it in this game. In the other games, you could put bugs and fish and all sorts of other stuff like that. But in this game, it's mostly potions, water, fairies, and mushroom spores. I'll get to mushroom spores when we actually see the mushrooms. Empty bottles useful carry around. We got an empty bottle. That worked horribly. And y there are five empty bottles in this game that you can get. And since I'm such a sport, I'm going to try and collect them all as well as everything in this Let's Play. The push, the uh, bottle is already in your pouch, as she said. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full. She, she's talking about the item check. I already told you about that. So what would you like to buy? I will tell you what she has in stock right now. Even though there are these uh, five cauldrons out here, she only has a few. She has the red potion, that's health potion. The green potion, that's the stamina potion. I wouldn't buy it. I think this blue potion's in stock, but it's not useful right now. It is called the Air Potion. When you drink this, you can breathe underwater for a certain amount of time. But it's not used right now. The Purple Potion is, is in stock. This potion restores five hearts, and it... Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, four hearts. And it is also used to revitalize your shield after it's been damaged. And the last one in the list, the Guardian Potion. It's not in stock right now, but it is a very useful potion if you're having trouble with a boss. It makes it so after you drink it, you cannot take damage for a certain amount of time. And Birdie over there, when you have these potions, can enhance them if you have the bugs that are used to enhance them. When you enhance a Guardian potion all the way, it will keep you invulnerable for five minutes. That's right, five minutes. I'll tell you more about the other potions that what happens with them when I buy... Well, I will buy one, but I'll get to them later. Because off the top of my head, I remember the Guardian Potion. Next time we're at the potion shop, I'll let you know the other stuff. But for right now, let's buy a Health Potion. Heart Potion, but whatever. It's the same thing. And it's only 20 rupees! What a deal! We got a potion! Yeah! And she's telling you the same thing I did about infusing potions. The best part about this, getting that potion, it heals eight hearts. We have six. So we'll get full health right now every time we use it. 
But, now that I've given you this lovely little tour of the lovely bazaar, I think it's time we cut this video off. So, on the next, to uh, next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Skyward Sword, we're going to check out that beacon of light to go into the surface world.